Uh, Alex, uh, before uh, facing Houston, how have you felt the group this week comparing? What are the vibes of the entire team? Yeah, I mean, we're we're obviously, um, you know, finished a, a season that was filled with highs and lows. Um, I think the, the good part is the second part of the season, we finished it in the right way. And so, you know, we're going into playoffs, obviously, with some confidence and some motivation to, to do well. And um, I think, uh, you know, we've got to clean up a, a few things and we're working on those things here in training. But uh, overall, I think the group is in a good spot heading into the playoffs uh, against a tough opponent and, you know, hoping to do uh, really good work in the playoffs. You guys have always had such a good relationship or beyond that with the fan base. How, how difficult was it to not be able to get that Cascadia Cup against the Timbers? Yeah, I mean, that's it's always difficult. Your rivals, especially in our home home uh, turf, um, you know, I thought we had a, a good performance um, overall. Obviously, there's some things that we we could do better at um, finishing our our chances to, to put the game away and in, in uh, you know, by the 60th minute, hopefully we can uh, improve on that. But, um, you know, it's always tough. We, we don't want to let them down. And, um, you know, I think that, that just goes to show where we're at with the fan base. And, um, you know, we, we want to do well for them. How do you feel about the, um, like, the red cars, yellow cars that you guys have been getting this season? It seems a little bit um, different from past seasons. Is there anything that you can kind of pinpoint? Or... Um, yeah, I mean, the, the cards are... Um, um, just a, a lack of, um, you know, discipline or, or focus. Sometimes, you know, we, we try to make plays that uh, don't necessarily need to make uh, um, those plays. Uh, so, you know, that being said, I think, you know, every intention of the player is trying to do well for the team and, uh, you know, secure a win. And so um, it was a bit of an anomaly this year with the, the cards. Um, but again, you have to play tough, and sometimes uh, you know you cross the line of being tough and um, getting offended for for um, fouling a player. And so, um, I think uh, moving on to the playoffs, I think it's going to be important for us to to play tough but safe, obviously, so we don't need uh, another red card. Was it um, hard at all to get past that part of the game against Portland? Just some of the inconsistencies there. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure everyone has spoken about um, the way it was officiated and stuff like that, and I, you know, I agree. It's it's tough. They, I, I but the thing I will say is I don't think refs, um, they don't, they don't um, officiate the game and create an outcome, but they disrupt the flow. What I will say is, you know, the, sometimes we'll be in a rhythm and we're we're doing really well. We're in. Um, a spot of the game where we have the ball and we're, we're looking to attack and sometimes it just gets broken up and you know the game gets a little choppy and it, it disrupts the flow so um, I think more so from the officiating I think it's more on us to, to put games away earlier and, and that way we don't have to rely on calls going our way. With Houston um, they're going to have a little bit of a different look what's your early uh, kind of assessment of what's going to be important? Yeah they're a good team very good attacking team so our defense is going to be put to a test um, they, uh, they they love to possess the ball. Um, their their midfield is a, a talented group, but they lack um, the the um, defensive abilities that maybe we have. So um, I think that the goal is to be a very good offensive team in the playoffs to to allow our defense to not have um, so much pressure put on them. You know, obviously we've done really well in the season defensively, but I think if we can improve on uh, getting multiple goals in a game, that'll really help us. How challenging is it when the team mirrors you information and concepts? Yeah, it's almost like, you, you know, you you know in your position you got to be in a certain spot and then you know that the opposing player is going to be in that same spot. So um, it's, uh, it's going to be tough, but I think, uh, you know, the way we've operated in our system, um, and especially in the last 10 games of the season, uh, we've done really well. So I think if we can really be disciplined and be in our positions, uh, you know, I think that'll, that'll benefit us. How much can you take from the last game, although Hector Herrera and Ponce were not part of that game? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, um, they're solid attacking players, um, and if they feature against us, we're going to have to make sure that we're, we're solid against them. Um, you know, we got to be very aggressive when it comes to um, them receiving the ball, so let them know that we're there and, and, and not be able to just get easy turns. So. Um, that's going to be a, a tough matchup in the midfield, um, but we're, we're um, prepared and we have the talent and work ethic in, in our midfield as well to, to defend that. What do you think about the uh, bracket and your path to, to the MLS Cup? Yeah, it'll be a challenging one. Um, there's no easy games in the playoffs, and so 
Um, we're excited for the challenge. Uh, I know um, in uh, years past, um, just our, our record in the playoffs has been really well, and so we, we're looking to continue that and um, hopefully get past some tough opponents. Do you think you're in the tougher part of the bracket on the West, in the West? Um, I don't know which side t is, is tough, tougher, but uh, I, I certainly know that either side is going to be very difficult. So uh, there's some really good teams in the West this year, and uh, you know we're looking to, to have good performances. When you assess your performance throughout the whole regular season, how would you rate that? How would you move on to the next phase of the playoffs with some learning experiences or some learning thoughts on what you did or did not do in the regular season? Yeah, I mean, this season has been um, an interesting one. You know, I've, I've been asked to play multiple positions and, you know, play uh, right back in a different way. Um, you know, every every five games it can change, you know, different personnel, different um, formation, different uh, area that they want me to be um, looking to, to be aggressive in. And so sometimes it's in the middle, sometimes it's out wide, um, sometimes it's a little bit more shallow and deeper. So, um, you know, as far as, as critiquing myself, you know, th there's a ton of things that I can improve on, you know, um, and uh, I just hope that I, I continue to improve on the things that they ask me, uh, especially when they ask me to, to, to shift into a different uh, position or area on the field. And, and obviously I try to do the best I can and um, perfect those things. And, um, you know, I have really talented players around me that help me uh, improve every day. Best of three, does that change anything? Uh, no, we got to go win.